Hey, what's up guys? So, new video. I don't know why I'm so orange. Uh, I'm gonna be finally flocking the dashboard uh, and see how it looks with the carbon fiber stuff. A lot of you were really butthurt about the carbon fiber wrap that looks pretty much like the real thing. I mean, I don't know man, it looks very much like the real thing. A lot of you were really upset about it because Oh, it's not real. Um, well, the real one is like about $500 if you want to buy all real carbon fiber trim. There's no point at all. There's no weight saving. It's plastic. It's not heavy at all. I don't really understand, but we're going to be flocking this whole entire thing. And there's the roof with the ginormous crack. And then the two smaller cracks on the side. What's that crack? And then I think the other one is... Yeah, down there. But like I said, I'm going to talk to the company soon. They're going to give me a call. Uh, see what they can do. If not, maybe partially refund me. Because I can fix it. But, oh well. No, it's still a nice piece. Uh, there's the daily. Um, fun, neat, funny news. So I actually uh, registered it today at the DMV. And passed inspection like easily with it. But the thing is, I registered and it asked you how many miles it has. And I wrote one, 184,000. Because that's how many it has on, on the odometer. And they're like, they're like, this car was registered in 2015 in New Jersey with 210,000 miles. They're like, it can't be that. And I'm like, oh. So this car definitely has probably 230,000 to 240,000 miles. And also the, the title, it says that the car is red. And it is beige. I know you can't see it, but it's beige. And the door jams, the inside of the uh, hood, inside of the trunk, everything's beige. It's, it's like, why would you do a full respray on a car? Of a color like that and not only that but it's crap this looks like it's a paint job from 2003 because all the paint is faded you know it's like I, I don't get it like was the car stolen and revinned or something like that I mean there's definitely something really sketchy which might make it hard for me to sell it for a profit but as a car it works but just confusing anyways I'm gonna take off the trim and I'm gonna Lays, lay this out. So basically what I'm going to be doing is hooking up the compressor, which is going to be here. Um, and I'm going to be uh, basically taking glue and using a brush to brush it the entire dash in glue. Uh, I might try to do like maybe like sections. I don't know how that'll work, but maybe I'll just do this first just to see how it goes and then I'll do the rest. But regardless, that's what's going to be going down now. So I'm going to be doing a test run on this first. I'm just going to go apply the glue. I put the flock in here. Flock is a very, 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 very weird thing. I mean, it is just strange. They're like little fibers, but they're, some of them are clumped into big groups. Some are just little hairs, as you can see on my hand. It's pretty crazy, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, brush the glue on, and then I'm going to put the air sister applicator on.
sun was up earlier, it would have been better to show you guys, but it's doing separate pieces right here. But yeah, it looks really, really, really good in person. Like it literally looks OEM. I got around all the crevices perfectly. I bond this and I put the carbon fiber trim kind of on it just to see how it would look. I know it looks weird blue because it's reflecting the sky and it has a little bit of the flock on it, but it's not sticking. But I'm probably just going to bring this inside. Basically, that's done. They say, like, give it 10 to 12 hours before, like, actually going into it because the paint underneath that's the adhesive has to dry and stuff like that. It's a giant mess. Like, it's, it's like, really thick. Yeah, I still don't understand how this works, but we'll figure it out. So guys, that's probably going to be the video, uh, hopefully I get my car soon, back soon, because that's all we really have to, left to do, quite honestly. Got all of these parts, not really, a lot of them are just OEM, but the roof, the dash, you know, but I won't even be putting the dash in when I first get it, I'm actually going to be, uh, taking it to my friend's house, having the front and rear windows taken out. And then, um, I'm going to do, take out the roof, spray the whole interior gloss white, and then I'm actually going to um, have him weld like two bars in the rear window that go from the top up from the roof to the bottom. Um, for when the rear Lexan, it'll be able to rivet into them so it doesn't concave in or out at high speeds. Just like front windshields have the bar going through the middle like the Lexan ones. So I have to order Lexan rear window, Lexan quarter windows, because that's all I'm doing for now until I get the doors that are like carbon fiber or something later on. But, yeah. big progress. Thanks all of you for supporting me. Um, like I said, I do have a patron, Patreon, whatever the people call it. Uh, all the contributors are in the description. I believe there's five or six of you, but I have all their names down in this description below. Like I said, I put all my contributors there and stuff. I'm trying to come out with merch soon. Just kind of having, I don't know, no one to really make it. So, anyways, see you next video.